Now, I'm not the kind of person who likes to complain a lot, because I, I don't think it's very helpful, actually. But one of the things I think is actually very critical now in Canada is that Aboriginal people and Canadians need to face each other, right, soon, and face up to this shared history and deconstruct it, right? Take it apart, look at it, all the different complexities of it, to understand that partnership a little better. And of course, I think that the, that the need to do that will affect the present and the future, right, in particular ways. And interestingly enough to me, John Ralston Saul has had something to say about this lately. I would, you may have heard he has a book now, what's it called? A Fair Country, I think. I think his, his main thesis is that when Canadians have been most successful is when they've, they've come up with what he calls aboriginal solutions to some of the problems they face. And to me, the way I interpret that, what that means is rather than looking somewhere else, that it's that idea of facing each other and, and sort of actually coming up with local solutions. Not necessary solutions. Local suggestions for how to proceed. So I guess that's what I'm interested in, in terms of curriculum. I know we've, uh, you know, we've, we've sort of, uh, I spent a lot of time thinking about the new initiatives in curriculum. I spent a lot of time talking to, uh, you know, pre-service teachers at, here at the university about those. And, you know, I always find myself in kind of an awkward position, you know. So, you know, is it an informational problem? So do I, do I just tell them what I think about the history? Uh, and of course, sometimes that's, a lesson plan problem, you know, what am I going to do Monday morning, kind of a thing. You know, in some ways it's more of a philosophical or an ideological problem, I would say. And then there's all the resistances that go with that. You know, over the years I've heard people say, well, you know, I don't need to know this. I don't have any Aboriginal students in my class, right? Or um, we already have multiculturalism. We don't need this. We don't need this Aboriginal stuff those kinds of things. So it's complex and it's difficult. Um, but as I say, I think there's a few things that um, maybe I can help you with.